Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over exactly how to set up Canvas for your next bubble build and explaining some of the components which come straight off the bat with Canvas. Now, before we create our new bubble application, what we need to do is we need to go to the bubble template store and save the canvas template to our account. Let's jump into the editor and just go over exactly how to do this. First off, we're gonna add the canvas template to our bubble account. This can be found in the bubble template store or by searching for the canvas base template. Opening up the template page, you can click on the button which says get template. For me, I've already added this to my account and it appears as purchased. Now we can create a new app using the Canvas base template. To do so, click the button, create an app. Then choose start from a template and choose the Canvas base template. Then create a name for your application. I'm just gonna call mine test application. The first task we need to do is to set up our application. To set up our application, we need to access the setup checklist. To access this, go to the data tab, go to the app data section, go to all users and click run as admin. This will bring up the admin portal and you can see your Canvas onboarding tour here. This will go over some of the features and components that come straight off the bat with your Canvas application. So if you click through here, you can see that you have an admin portal which is pre-configured for you and you can see a lot of information. We will be going over this in more detail in this video and in other videos. What you can also do is click on this documentation link here and this links to the Canvas documentation including an explanation of what the admin portal is and how to configure it. And the Canvas documentation is a great repository and library of knowledge if you ever have any questions with regards to setting up your Canvas application. It's the best first point of call. If we go through this, we can see other features such as the ability to update your identity and branding, marketing pages, set your header and footer information, have a built-in user account portal, set up your authentication, set up emails as well. And we'll go over all of these features in later videos and explain them in this video as well. What you can see now here is the setup checklist and these are a series of steps that you should undertake before making your application live. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to install the Canvas extension and what this allows us to do is it allows us to link our bubble application to the Canvas library of components so that we can easily with one click add in ready-made responsive components from the Canvas library. So I'll click on this one. I'll click add to Chrome. I'll click add to Chrome here, add extension. I'll go back, I'll click I've installed it. What I'll then do is I'll click on this puzzle icon and pin this one here. I'll then close the walkthrough. Now that your application is set up and pretty much ready to go for you to start building, what I would like to explain to you is some of the features and functionalities which come with your Canvas application. We're sitting here in our admin portal and the admin portal serves as a command center for your Canvas application. On the top left here, you have a Canvas tools section and this allows you to easily gain access to your setup checklist and view what steps you need to undertake to make your application live. Additionally, there's various ways in which you can get more support. There's the documentation here which links to that Canvas documentation so you can understand the components and how to configure them. There's a link to the YouTube tutorials explaining what the Canvas template is and how to set it up. There is a link to the Canvas onboarding tour again, and there's also this link for hiring. So if you do need dedicated development resources to assist you with making your Canvas application live, you can always hire a resource as well. 
On the left here, we also have a series of tabs which allow us to configure the look and the feel and also some of the components on our platform. So going through this, the first one on the left here we, is the branding. And what this allows us to do is to really update the look and the feel, including the colors, the logos, for example, of our application. And we can do all of this from the admin portal without actually having to jump into our bubble editor. Next, we have the header and footer information and we can actually update and edit this information and we have another video which goes into this in a lot more detail and explains how to update this information. The admin can also update and preview the email templates and the email information, including making sure which ones are active, being able to edit this information, edit the content, and also preview what these emails look like. We do have another video going into this in a lot more detail. Going further down here, we also have the analytics section. So as an admin user, you can get a really quick snapshot of how users are interacting with your platform, including the number of users, the number of signups, and how active these users are on our platform. You can also view some of the metadata, such as the app variables, view quickly the pages which are on your platform, and also the user roles as well. And we have the users tab, which allows an admin to view and manage users on the platform, including the ability to edit the user information, easily reset their passwords and deactivate or control their access to our application. This makes the admin portal a really powerful way to control parts of our application and an admin can be non-technical and does not need to jump into the bubble editor to make these changes. Canvas also comes with straight off the bat a login and sign up flow. So users can access your platform and just provide some information about themselves. All they really need to do here is just provide the email and password information. This then takes us to the second stage of the sign up flow where we can capture some personal information about the user. We're then redirected back to this index page in that standard sign up and login flow. Canvas also comes with just straight off the bat, a series of marketing pages, which are just pages or landing pages, which you can really easily update with your app specific information. So if you just see me scroll down here on the index page, I can see all this pre-made content, which I can really easily update with my app specific information and just tailor it to my application use case. I can see what it would look like if I was building a marketplace, how I would like to set up this particular marketing page. And I can also see the same for a software as a service. And I can also see a pricing marketing page. And what this really helps us, it means that we're just never building from scratch. And if I just jump over to the editor tab over here and I go to that home page, this just shows me the information that's already set up here and I can choose whether I want this content to be visible or to be hidden on the page and I can easily update the text content just to meet my application specific use case. Now our application is all set up and ready to go. We're ready to start adding and modifying components to meet our specific application use case. Our next videos are actually going to be going over exactly how to do this. Before I sign off today though, I want to highlight three different places where you can go to if you ever require assistance with Canvas. The first place you can go to is the Canvas documentation. This has a library of information on exactly how to set up and modify various components on Canvas. The second place that you can go to is the Canvas forum where you can ask questions and have them answered. And the third place that you can go to is there are a pool of Canvas developers whom you can hire for assistance if you require. Now, I hope that you found this video useful and helpful and hope to see everyone at the next one.